What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and this is Foxy and today we're going to upgrade the landing light to an aero LED landing and taxi light. We're also going to do a little bit of comparison to the Watt Prometheus G3. So stick around as we do a little bit of an install. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, this is a uh, video that I've been trying to get done for quite some time now. Uh, I've been so busy that I've kind of put this on the back burner, but I got the plane all squared away off of my annual and I got some tests studied for and now I'm ready to move on to try to do some more upgrades and stuff. So last summer, my wife and I went to Oshkosh and I went up there for two reasons, but both are pretty much the same. First reason was I wanted to go by the uh, Aero LED site and buy a uh, beacon light, which I ended up buying and installed and I'm really loving it. And I also wanted to go up there and get their landing light. Now this is a, uh, the Aero LED Equinox landing and taxi light all in one. Plus it has some other features too. But while I was there, I ended up getting a Watt Prometheus G3. And I figured I would end up making a little video on comparing the two and doing a little install and see what both of them look like in my plane. So let's start off with uh, the packaging on both of them. Just, they're both pretty nice packaging. This is a, just a cardboard box. Same with the Aero LED. The Aero LED has got a nice made in the USA sticker right there on the outside of the box. On an, although watts are made in the United States, Nowhere on the package does it say that it made in the United States, but their website says it. So as we open it up, the watt light comes out and it's wrapped in a uh, bubble wrap. The inside is basically just a cardboard sleeve to hold it and you pull it out and there's a rubber gasket that it comes with and some insulation installation instructions and tells you here at the bottom that when you install this you'll have to fill out the form 337 and get that submitted and then in, that's all that comes in that box now the Aero LED, pull off the Made in USA sticker, and it has really nice packaging. As far as the two goes, you can't beat the packaging that Aero LED puts with their products. This is a, like a foam uh, packaging that they put in there, and this thing is over the top of your light, then they have another foam around the light to hold it. Then it's bedded on top of another piece of foam down below. Now underneath all the foam, you have quick connectors for the light. That way when you do all your wiring, you put the quick connector in there, snap it in, makes it good and waterproof. Really nice connectors. Uh, I forget the the style of connector it is. I'm wanting to say it's a Deutsch, but I'm, I can't remember off my head. Uh, that's it's a really good connector. Also comes with your paperwork for your mechanic to fill out the, the form to get that submitted in and 
attached to your plane. Also, it comes with uh, some warranty and registration paperwork. Tells you how to go online and register your product. And the numbers that you're gonna need and everything are all on the box. They're listed right in here. Serial numbers, model numbers, same thing with the Prometheus. It does have the uh, model numbers and serial numbers right there on the outside of the box. So neither one of them you want to get rid of the boxes until you're totally done. And then you still may want to hold on to the tags. Now, the Prometheus, take off the bubble wrap. And that's what that one looks like on the, the face side and the aero LED looks like that. The Watt has got a really nice clean looking face to it and they did a really good job uh, designing that. I do like the aero LEDs, but they have got a lot more bulbs or uh, LEDs in there to, uh, to emit because this is both a landing light and a taxi light versus this is just a landing light. Now on the back side, you have your wire hookups. You have a minus and a positive here. So when those get hooked up, you have to make sure you hook those up in the right orientation where it will not work. The Aero LED has the same thing. It has a light or the power and ground connectors right here, except for with this light being it's a landing and taxi light, you have to uh, wire in a reverse polarity switch to get that to work. Because when you have it up in the landing position, then this will be positive and that'll be negative. And then when you put it down on uh, taxi, this will be positive and that one will be negative. So it just reverse the polarity of these poles. So you'll have to hook it up, kind of play with it, which one's positive, which one's negative. It also has this wire here. Now this wire contains a yellow wire, a blue wire, and a green wire. Now, not only is this one a landing and taxi light, this one also has a wigwag function. So if you add power to this yellow wire, this light will blink on and off. Now, if you have more than one light, that's where these blue and green wires come in. You connect the green wire on the left light to the blue wire on the right light or vice versa. And when you apply power to this, then the internals on this will automatically tell one light to come on, then the other one light will come on afterwards. So it just goes back and forth, gives you the wigwag. In my configuration here, we just have one landing light. So I will use the yellow wire for the wigwag function to be on just one light and it'll just go on, off, on, off, and that'll be what it does. And then the other two wires will just cap and stow away and we won't even use those. Now, with that being said, I am ordering uh, wingtip lights, or wingtips for my plane that'll put the wingtip lights inside the wingtips. So I'm going to get, be getting two more of these lights and I will not be using the wag wag function on my front one, but I will be using them on my wing lights. So for now, I'm just gonna cap and stow all three of those wires, and then I'll just be using this as a landing and taxi light. Now for a little bit of information on both of these lights. The watt light, I looked everywhere online. I looked off Aircraft Spruce. I've looked on their website and there is literally 
hardly any information on their light. They tell you, it was so little information I got, wrote, wrote it down. But they tell you in a 14 volt configuration, it draws 3.8 amps, which is not very many amps. And it weighs 0.8 pounds. Now, the arrow LED, when you pull it up on their website, it gives you everything. It gives you uh, the, in the 12 volt, 14 volt configuration, this one will draw 5.4 amps, just a little more amps, but this is a little brighter than that light there. Uh, <coughs> uses 100 watts in the landing function and 75 watts in the taxi function. It has built-in wigwag, it has synchronization, and the lumens are 11,000 lumens. Candelas are 210,000 candelas on the landing function and 65,000 candelas on the taxi function. The candelas off of the watt, from what I can tell, is they have a graph. I will put both information up on the screen, but they have a graph. It's basically all the information they have, and it says it starts out at about 115,000 candelas and tapers off to 75,000 candelas the longer you run it. At the brightest point, this thing produces 115,000 candelas versus the Arrow LEDs, 210,000 candelas. So it's almost one and a half times brighter than the watt. That's pretty bright. They say you, got, you can see this light from an extreme distance away. We'll be trying that out. Now, the landing light on the Aero LED shoots a 20 degree by 20 degree beam out in front of your plane. And when you switch it over to taxi, it goes to a 20 degree by 45 degree. So that way when you're coming in, you can switch it over to taxi and light up the sides of the runways a little better. And for people like me that live out in the middle of nowhere where there's deer on the airport all the time, that's one of the things I worry about every time I come in to land is where's the deer at on the side of the runway. That is the number one reason why I wanted to, to buy this light. Now, the weight on this one says 11.5 ounces. All right, now let's weigh the watt light and see what it weighs. We have it zeroed out at zero, zero, and we'll put the watt light on. And it says 13.3 ounces. Does not weigh very much. Now, this one here, the Aero LED, let's see what it weighs. Still zeroed out. 11.5, so, so basically the watt weighs two ounces more than the Aero LED. Now, if we go over here to the bench over here, we'll try hooking them up and see what they look like. All right, over here I have power supply and we have our lights and let's hook them up and see what happens. So all we're going to do is our negatives over here, we'll hook that up there and our positives there. We'll hook that up there. Turn it on. Turn the switch on. And it lights up. It is bright. It is sunshiny out today, so it's... All right, with that being said, we'll go ahead and turn this off. 
we'll unhook the watt light and we will hook up the arrow LED. Now that we've hooked up the arrow LED light, we got it hooked up to the switch here, which this is a uh, reverse polarity wired switch. Basically all that is, is a double pole, double throw switch. Uh, and you run a jumper wire from one side over to the opposite of the, the other side and another jumper wire from this side over to the opposite side of that. And it makes a reverse polarity switch. So we will turn it on and there's the, the landing light and I can tell you right now that is, that is quite a bit brighter. And all you have to do is flip it and it switches over to the taxi light. I kind of like that function because just as easy as a flip of a switch and you can go from the taxi to landing. Now, if we take a power and apply it, take power and we apply it to the yellow, right there is your pulse function or wigwag, whichever way you have it. And a single, it would be a pulse. So that's all there is to that. It, this is all in one unit. So all you have to do is just ins install the light and a couple wires and you have your landing light and taxi light plus your wigwag or pulse light all in one unit. Now with the watt, you'll have to install a module that you can buy. And I think they run somewhere around $200 ish uh, to be able to make the watt light wigwag. And then you have to still install separate switches and everything and with the arrow LED, it takes that module completely out because it's built into the unit. Now let's talk about the cost. And this is where the watt will shine just a little bit, depending on which way you want to think of it. The arrow LED will set you back about $850, which is a little pricey for a light, but when you think that you have your landing and taxi light plus wigwags all in one, then it's not real bad. The watt will run you about $400. Both of them were priced off the same website. So thinking of it that way, this one's $400 and that one is $850. But to get this one to pulse or wigwag, you have to spend another 200 and some odd dollars just for the controller to drive that. So there you're looking at around $650 for this one here. And you still just have your landing light. You don't have a taxi. That's where I think just a little extra money to have all those features all in one product is right up my alley. So to me, I think as far as price wise, I like the Aero LED. Now let's go ahead and do a little, little install and see what they look like. All right, changing these lights on these PA28s is pretty easy. Just four screws and this whole thing comes off. Well, 
All you'll need for this job is some basic tools, a Phillips screwdriver and a flat bladed screwdriver. Now that all the wire connections are made, only thing you have to do is do a quick test and put things back together. It's also a good idea, while you have everything apart, just to take this time to clean everything up before you put it back together. And just like that, that one's installed. Now all they have to do is go out and try it out. My first impressions of the lights were, they both were considerably brighter than my original light. But the Aero LED in taxi mode was just as bright as the Watt's landing light, and the Aero LED had a wider lighting path than the Watt. And then when you switch the Aero LED to landing mode, it shined half again further than the Watt did, which was a quite a bit of help whenever you're coming in for landing. And all those, these GoPros didn't pick it up. That factory that I'm flying over is about a mile from the end of our runway. And the Aero LED, I could see the stripes on the runway. The Watt, it was about halfway to the runway before I started seeing the stripes. Like I said, our runway has a lot of deer, and the plus about this light is when you're on your approach, you can flip it over a taxi and light up the sides of the runway, and I'm really enjoying that so far. As far as daytime visibility, we used our RNAV for the starting point for our approach. And when we got to about eight miles is when we started seeing the Watt G3. As far as the Aero LED light, when we turned at our fix, it started shining right when we turned. And if I'd have known that, I would have probably started another 10 miles further north. And at nighttime, I've had people say they've seen my plane from 30 miles away. Okay, guys, uh, it's going wrap it up for this upgrade i really am gonna like this aero led light between the two i think uh both of them were definitely brighter than the one that i originally had on my plane just this aero led just seemed to be so much brighter uh, the taxi function the it lit up the sides of the runway that 
normally the deer are hanging out on anyway. And I really like that feature. So I think I've got a, a winner with this one here. I got a few more things that I would, I would like to uh, do in the future. Like I said, I want to put new wingtips on the plane that have the landing lights in it. And then I'm gonna buy two more of those lights to put in those. And then I'll have my wig wags in those. And I think between those three and looking like a 747 coming in for landing every time I come in for landing, that I will see whatever I wanna see. There won't be nothing hiding from me. The, uh, like it'll be pretty safe. You know, people should be able to see you from a long ways away. I got some videos uh, of flying in in the daytime and in the nighttime. And you can see me coming in from a long ways off with both lights. But this aero LED light was definitely the furthest by far. So until next time, you guys, enjoy flying and go buy some aero LED lights. Talk to you later.